You hear that? Can you hear me? You know what that is? It's the noise of infinite chaos. So yeah, today I'm gonna talk about the newest game mode, Broadcast Brawl, brought to you by Arena Breakout on TV Station, which is like infinite hell. I'm gonna be as much optimistic as I just can, but personally, I don't like this game mode. It's just too much, too much noise, and I think it's a bit contradictory of the original goal of Arena Breakout. Let me explain. So let's take farm for example and compare it to this game mode. So on a farm, you need to be strategic. You need to pick your loadout that fits to that map. And then regardless whether you are solo or playing as a squad, you need to kind of understand the different spawns. You need to have an idea of what you want to do on the map. You need to have a good path to through the map. Then you need to have an extraction strategy and such. And you need to apply your strategic type of skills, which is kind of the base of this game because you can cannot just go inside, start shooting. You need to understand like your environment. You need to pay attention to the surroundings, like the footsteps and shots and where they are coming from. So how does this relate to the newest game mode, to the like faction clan wars type of brawl? It's in the name, it's a brawl. It's almost like a team deathmatch with the exception that you don't revive. So here in the newest game mode, I think your armor, your weapon and your strategy and most of the skills you would apply in Arena Breakout don't really make a difference. You should definitely play this game mode if you like fast-paced action where you don't really need to think, don't really need to like search for enemies because they're going to be there by default. You should also play this map if you have tons of money and you just want to try your luck because you're not going to find too much loot on this map. So if you kill enemy players and pick up their stuff, then obviously yes. But other than that, um, this map isn't designed for looting and getting rich. You should also play this map if you are being frustrated after a big loss on lockdown or whatever, then jump into this map and, you know, if you have other stuff to give away, then, then this is a perfect map. You can do that. You hop onto the game, you lose once or twice or three times, and then it's a good ending of the day to, like, give away stuff, like charity stuff, okay? All right, jokes aside, this was actually a very sarcastic reasoning for playing this map, but you could actually play this map if there is a specific gun you want to practice in, in action. Like, maybe you're not gonna succeed extracting, but it's a good environment to do practicing. I was actually thinking whether we need such a game mode in first place, and then it popped to my mind. I got clarity. I reminded myself that this is a hardcore FPS game. So the purpose of the game is not that you keep winning and you have more and more. It's hardcore for a reason. You need to apply a mindset where you feel that sometimes less is more. So even if you have less than 50% extraction rate, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a bad player. You need to get used to the fact that even if the game grabs all your stuff, it doesn't mean that you're bad. I have a friend, a good friend of mine, a professional esports player from PUBG, and he quit the game. He said that he wants to reach legend. He wants to prove himself that he can do it. He was easily destroying squads alone. He was moving on the map like an eagle and repositioning himself properly. He was mastering his controls, playing with six fingers. And in overall, he was just really good. He still quit the game. He went up to 15 million inventory value and then he lost it all. And you know why? Because he was playing with a mindset that he's very aggressive, very pushy. And yes, he did the kills, three, four, five, even six kills. But then there was a seventh one, like ratting in the corner or by accident, he didn't pay attention to something and then he died. It doesn't mean that he's a bad player. I think he is one of the best players I ever played with. Still, his inventory is kind of down to zero, but it's a hardcore game. And if you don't like it, then it's not the fault of the game. It's just the game. The game is as is. It's a given. It's a fact. It's not fair to compare this game to other FPS games. If you don't like it, you can hop anytime over to another game where you feel you have more success or more positive feedback or validation of your skills. But this is not the right thing to do. This 
game, ladies and gents. This is teaching you how to manage failure and you're going to fail tons of times in the game and also in real life. You need to stand up. You cannot always walk away in life. You're going to face tons of situations where you actually can walk away, but that's not the right decision. And respect to all of you, regardless of your rank, who is still here in the game since season one or whenever you started playing the game, even though if you're not having a 50 million inventory, even though if you die nine times out of 10 attempts, respect to you all, because it means that you are handling it well and you still find the game entertaining. It could be for multiple reasons. Maybe you want to prove yourself that you can be better. Maybe it's just that you don't care and you actually just have fun. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section why do you play Arena Breakout? What's the motivation behind it? I mean, the game kicks you in the ass multiple times, even on a single day. Why do you keep playing? I, I want to know. Let me know. And if you're one of those guys with the FAL and the flashlight and the 1X scope, and if you feel now inside that, hmm, what is this shady talking about? This is this 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 is not even challenging for me. That's that's fine, and respect to you as well. In that case. Let me know about your experience. How did you get here? I guess Arena Breakout is not the first FPS game you play. Let me know where you gathered all the experience and how you could put that experience into action in Arena Breakout. I would be curious to hear because I would be massively surprised and maybe even think about my life if you say that this is the first mobile game you ever played, first FPS game, and you instantly got to Legend and you have an inventory value of 100 million. I would be really surprised if that's true. So I tried playing the map three times, okay? First attempt was T3 armor with a DP. I just wanted to have fun. I thought it's gonna be... I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I just entered the map and then within the first minute I got shot. There was somebody hiding and with a 4x zoom, headshot, I'm down. Okay, next one. I dressed up properly, T4, I think I was running with an M4 maybe, on that corridor where we have the elevator. There were multiple bodies already in the third minute. I mean, you know, it's instant PvP. And my kid Zikwit died as well. So I wanted to pick up his stuff and I felt like it's a safe thing to do because I had multiple players from my team staying on or being on that corridor. So I went to my kid's uh, like body, started picking up stuff and then instantly I died. And then I changed my mind. I decided to stay low, like trying to find a safe spot at the beginning and then only enter the fights where I feel uh, that with confidence I can do a kill and then maybe go back to my, my base. But Here's the thing, this is like almost ratting. This is almost like not entering the fights. You, you, you cannot be like pushy because if you are being pushy, then you run out and then most likely bots are gonna shoot you from the left and then enemies are gonna be in front of you and then enemies on the right hand side. Maybe I'm the one doing something wrong, but I feel like this is massive chaos and has nothing really to do with like strategic thinking. Anyways, in the third game, I was burying myself into the library. I felt like that's a safe spot because there are like dark areas and boxes and such where you can hide. And uh, I actually did some, some nice kills. And even my kills like validate that those guys had no clue that I might be there. So it was an easy kill for me. It wasn't about skill. It wasn't about like guessing that they are gonna come from that direction. So even from my end, it was just, let's say, pure luck. I was standing at the right place at the right moment. Anyways, I quickly went back to the library. I couldn't even check the, the bodies, my, my, my loot, because I knew that there's still lots of threat. And then this massive chaos just began. It was three minutes of endless shots where you don't hear anything. You see footsteps like, tons of them because if the bots from your side start fighting the bots from the other side from the other faction it feels like they have infinite ammunition so it's just shots all around the place and i was like what the hell is going on i mean really am i playing the same game or is this something different anyways i started like trying to peek to see who's out there and I had some kills, but still I knew I couldn't go outside because it would be an instant death for me. So I thought the next right move would be to fully heal up and then start killing the enemy bots and then check whether if I'm going to see any footsteps around me. Since I already killed a bunch of players, I, for a single second, I hoped that I'm going to easily survive this map, okay? 
So what I did is that I started shooting the bots from a distance. And while I was doing that, I was shot from the side by a player who I guess just picked up a scarf from a bot. So he didn't have any decent loadout. And, and I was like, yeah, okay, well, if I would be replaying the whole thing again, would I be doing anything differently? And the answer was no. So I would do pretty much the same. But in that case, how on earth can you survive this map? I don't know. I, I think I'm not going to play the map because I didn't enjoy it. It's not, it's not fun for me. But as I said, I'm going to stay optimistic. And whilst I don't like it, it doesn't mean that the map or the game mode is wrong or bad. You may like it. Maybe it's going to be your favorite game mode. I'm actually happy that we have a new game mode. Like, it's good to see that we always get some new stuff. But this game mode isn't really for me. So I'm going to stick to port and farm and, you know, other stuff. But, you know, if you enjoy, then enjoy as much as you can. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Shady out.